So I had several questions sent to me about the Chapter 3 Grader project for our Access class. And so I thought I would make a quick and dirty video to help out. Actually, this will probably be two or three videos because of the limitations I have for length in uploading to YouTube. So let's dive into this. Uh, Brilton Madley, a board game manufacturer, hired a new CEO. She asked for your assistance in providing summaries of data that took place before she started with the company. To help her with her strategic planning, you will create queries to perform data analysis. Based on your meeting, you plan on creating four queries. One query will find orders with minor delays. Another will query will summarize company revenue and cost by country. A third query will be used to evaluate payments made by customers and their orders. Uh, on their orders, and the final query will calculate the total sales uh, by sales representative title. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for the instructions on here a little better. So, start access. Okay, so boom, started. All right, so let's color off the steps I have completed. So, create a query using query design. From the customer's table, include the fields first name, last name, and phone in that order. From the orders table, include the fields order ID, order date, and ship date in that order. Run the query, then examine the record, save the query as shipping efficiency. All right, so we need the customer's table and the orders table. All right, so I'll come up here and click create, query design. Uh, we have the uh, customers table highlight and click add. Click down, there's an add button. And then orders and add. And I'm going to close this and bring these down into the view of the video. First name, last name, phone, in that order. So first name, grab and click and drag last name, and click and drag phone. And I dragged into the first, second, third columns, so they're in the order, and there we go. So now we need order ID, order date, and ship date. Order ID, order ID, order date, and ship date. There we go. All right, so I'm highlighting shipping efficiency. I hit Control C to copy it so I can get the exact um, spelling for when the server corrects it. Run and examine the record save. All right. I'll come up here at the top corner, click the Run button. There we go. Things we've asked for are listed and right click save and hit paste so it says shipping efficiency and it'll show up under all access objects click ok there we go shipping efficiency and examine the records and save right, so that's done Add a calculated field name days to ship. Double click that, hold down ship and back arrow once so I'm not highlighting the space. Control C. So add a calculated field name ship to date to calculate the number of days taken to fill each order. Hint the expression will include the order date and ship date fields. The result will not contain negative numbers. Uh, run the query and examine the results, save the query. All right, so. Um, all right, so we want order and date and ship date we want to subtract them so we know the days between them ship date will be after order date so we want to do ship date minus order date all right so come back here go back to design view come down here but bring this into view uh, I'm gonna start building my computed fields so I'm gonna hit control V days to ship Again, so it's exactly like what the server is looking for, full colon. Um, I think this first time I'll show you that you can uh, just type it out. So you're going to type a square bracket and type out the word, the uh, 
field shift date close square bracket so there we go minus open square bracket order date close square bracket and I'm gonna click off there to enter it and run examine the results save the query run examine save all right so run examine you can see the numbers are not negative so we're looking good there and save Add a criteria to limit the results. Include any order that took more than 30 days to ship. All right, so I'll come back here. Uh, I usually go to the button in the corner, but you can also come to this tab and go to Design View. And right here, where it says Criteria on the left, follow that row across to under Days to Ship, and type a greater than and a three and then a zero. Hit Enter. Enter that. Oh, that's it. All right. Add the quantity field from the orders table and product name field from the products table in that order. So quantity from the order table. All right. Now I got quantity right there. Put it right there. I don't have the products table. So I'm going to click show table. And click products. Click add. Click close, bring this into view, and is it product name? Yes. So click drag. There we go. Sort query by ascending last name. Okay, so go back to last name where it says sort, select ascending. All right, add the caption days to ship to the days to ship field. All right. Well, that information will show up over here. Uh, it may already be open for you. I closed it just moments ago so I could show you where to get it if it's missing for you. Basically, just come over to our days to ship. Oops, no, right click here and you'll see properties click for properties and you get the property oops property sheet shows up and the instructions said caption days to ship so I just highlighted days to ship got rid of the space in the highlighting control C to copy click in caption control V to paste tab to enter it so it's entered into our process. Data to ship. Switch the data ship view to data sheet view to view the final results. Save and close the query. All right. So I'll come back up here. Click data sheet view, and you can see things like the days to ship caption is there. Our computation is there. Quantity product name. We add it all good and said save it and close it. All right. Okay. Create a query using query design. Add customers, orders, and products table. All right. Create. Query design. Customer uh, table is already highlighted. I'm going to hold down shift, click products. So all three of these are highlighted. I'm going to click add. Boom, there they are. And now that I've clicked add, I will click close. And I will bring our tables into view. All right, add country field from the customer's table.
tree. All right. Uh, so at the table row to group by. Total is missing, so right click up here, totals, totals down there, group by is what it's set to. Uh, save the very as. All right, highlighting that. Control C to copy it. Uh, bring it up here and save. Prompts for what we should call it. Control V to paste it, click OK. And you can see it's been added over to the all access objects. So that's looking good. And. All right, add a calculated field in the second column named total revenue. So I'm double click total revenue. Control C to copy. This field should multiply. The quantity ordered, oh, and I may be over time, so I'm going to stop the video there. Please look for part two.